In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Authenticator app to set up multi-factor authentication with Office 365. Before you can set up the app, you need your administrator to configure multi-factor authentication for your account. And they'll do that using the Azure Active Directory. They'll select your account, click enable, and then the next time you log in, you can do the setup from your side. So the next time you go to log on to office.com or azure.com in the browser, you're going to be asked to sign in. So you put in your username and password. And then you'll see a window that asks you for more information. And when you hit next, you'll be taken through to a verification setup wizard. And you can see on the first page, you have step one, how should we contact you? And you drop down and choose mobile app. And then you choose the use verification code and then choose Setup. The next page it takes you to is the Configure Mobile App page, and it's gonna show you a QR code and some other relevant information. Now, because we're using the Google app, we can't use the QR code, so we click on Configure App without notifications. And we need to make a note of the account name and the secret key, because we're gonna need those when we set up the profile on the Google Authenticator app on the phone. So on the Google Authenticator app, we just need to do a manual entry to create a new profile. We need to then paste in the account name that we got from the web page and then the secret key. And then we can save that. And what we'll end up with is a new profile. And that six character key is what we'll key in every time we log into Azure or Office 365. So now to complete the verification process, you go back to the browser and you key in the six character key from your mobile app and press verify. And then when it comes back, it's gonna ask you to put in a mobile number and a country. This is just in case you lose the mobile app, so it's got like a backup. Then you hit next. And finally, it's gonna give you an app password as well for other apps, not necessary for the Azure portal though and then you're done. So the next time you log in, you'll be asked to enter a code like this. You grab the code from the Authenticator app on your phone, you hit verify, and then it will complete the login process and you'll be sent through to the Azure portal.